Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are now finally caught up, meaning that uh, I have no more pre-recorded videos scheduled, and so everything that we do from this point forward until and unless I get way ahead of you guys again uh, is uh, current. So that's cool. Uh, I've been playing a lot of of gold rush um, and getting into you know simulator games I'm probably gonna actually start farming simulator too because never really played those games before until I started gold rush and I'm really really enjoying them so uh, I've been doing that you know to kind of wait for this series to get caught up but now that we're caught up um, my plan is to uh, go back to you know one video a day uh, releasing um, and you know try and stay more or less current uh, you know, moving forward, like I said. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I don't even know exactly what we're supposed to do in this episode. <laughs> it's been, it's been an, uh, a little while uh, since I've played because, like I said, you know, I got really far ahead of you guys. You know, something interesting, too, is down here, there's a bag that I can see up here, but I've gone, I've gone down there and I can't find it. So it's really odd. I don't know, maybe it's underneath there, because there's like an under uh, underground basement area down there. Uh, but anyway, let's see, where are we at? Are these things ready to harvest? They are. Okay, let's harvest some potatoes. That's cool. Uh, I haven't put any points at all into any farming skills or anything like that, so um, we will probably, probably do that eventually. I'd like to, just, you know, so we can make the good stuff. On the other hand, though, we've been doing fine... Uh, making things like um, hobo, not hobo stew, um, what's the stuff called? The other stuff, the gumbo. Yeah, the gumbo stew and the shepherd's pie, you know, stuff like that. And we don't need, well, doesn't shepherd's pie, that does require potatoes, I think. But gumbo doesn't. We can make gumbo completely from canned food and some animal fat. And it's one of the best, you know, foods in the game, as most of you guys probably know, so... Uh, if we could find the spaghetti recipe, too, I don't think that requires corn and potatoes. Um, this does, but, I mean, there's lots of corn around, and we're growing a few potatoes here and there, so, you know, we might be able to get by without having to do a massive farm. I still wouldn't mind doing it, but I think, you know, there's more important points that we need to be spending. Speaking of which, do we have any points at the moment? We do. We have one perk point. Okay, what are we working on? We got intellect all the way up to nine. We have an effect of ten when we wear the nerdy glasses. Um, so let's see, lock picking would be good. Sure wouldn't be a bad idea to put some more points into salvage ops. I've been getting really crap um rewards from the trader. Uh this gives us an additional reward and a little bit more money if we do Daring Adventurer. This gives us a better selling price. Now, this doesn't tell us if we get better rewards, like higher quality rewards. I'll bet you that is a skill in this mod, now that I think about it. It's probably the trading skill. Selling items is 5% more profitable. Secret stash. Plus. Yeah, well, this increases secret stash. So, see, this is not something we can buy. We, we have to earn it. Uh, we do have some books for it, though. And then what's this do? That just gives us more dukes. Okay, I got you. All right, well, it wouldn't be a bad idea to put some start putting some points into salvage ops. Um, better barter, uh, or I mean, I'm sorry, daring adventure wouldn't be bad. Lock picking, we're, we've got a pretty good handle on lock picking. And, you know, we can always use the, whatchamacallits. The thing is, though, is if we put more points into this, it makes our bobby pins and lock picks more durable. Um, and that'll give us plus 75, which means we may not even need to use the candy very rarely. So that's an option, too. Uh, drone specialist. Yeah, that's something I'd like to do, but I don't know. Maybe we should shift away from... What does this give us? This, is give, this gives us 10% more damage and can retrieve 10% more resources. Mm. Yeah, we should probably pay attention to salvage ops a little bit, I'm thinking. But um, we have some other things we are working on, though. So we have uh, perception level three is up. Oh, man, there's so many things to take. You know what I mean? Uh, lucky looter actually wouldn't be bad either. That gives us plus 10 
to loot game stage and less looting time. Penetrator's always a good one. Uh, firearms, archery, spears ignore 15% armor. Ah, what to do, you guys? What to do? You know what? Let's take Penetrator. There we go. Okay, it's done. <laughs> I can't spend the whole episode trying to figure out what points I'm going to take. All right. Now, uh, I'm not sure what we're working towards in terms of, you know, neck upgrades or workstations. Um, what do we currently have? This is a ballistics table, and there is a tier 2 ballistics table. What do we need to upgrade this? Okay, so we have research. We have everything we need to upgrade this. Missing tool, wooden hammer or claw hammer. Uh, wait, what? Oh, do we have to have that in our hand? Is that what is is that what that's saying? Because I have plenty of hammers. Here, let's grab the crappiest hammer we got. Does it have to be in our inventory? Like I said, I'm a little bit a little bit rusty here because it's been a couple weeks since I've played. Okay, so it looks like it just needed to be in our inventory to do the actual upgrade. It doesn't pull it from storage. Interesting. Unless, well, maybe I didn't have the broadcasting on on that storage now that I think about it. Okay, so we could do this. Um, I'm trying to... What does a ballistics tier 2 table let us do? It probably just lets us make higher level weapons. Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm sure it's useful, whatever it is. But is there something else we should be upgrading instead of that? Uh, the chemistry bench doesn't have an upgrade path. So that's already good enough. We have a tier 2 workbench, a tier 2 carpenter. We got a tier 2 blacksmithing, artisan's table, maintenance table, and mechanic's table. This we could probably stand to upgrade. And what is this? Oh, this is our disassembly station. Okay, right. Uh, mechanics table and artisan's table. And maintenance station. Oh, yeah, we, w we wanted to upgrade this to three so that we could repair our high-end stuff, but we need an advanced repair kit and 100 steel for that. Well, and some scrap titanium, too, which I think we could probably get if we go out into the wasteland and, and mine some of that stuff. Um, that's kind of expensive. How, how are we doing on steel plating, by the way? What am I doing in here? Oh, I just made a bunch of steel ingots. Okay. Here, let's turn that off. Um, what are the ingots used for directly? I know I've looked at this before. Yeah, okay. I think we should turn all of these into plating. So let's do that. Okay, so that'll give us 100 steel... Uh, plates right there. This we could probably stand to upgrade to tier 2 as well. And this. So what does this take? Okay, this we have everything to do. Mechanics uh, are uh, tier table 2. Again, not exactly sure what we can... Well, we can probably make... Like cars, uh, you know, four-wheel vehicles in if we upgrade this. That's my guess. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind. Um, I don't know. I have a feeling like this is probably the first thing we should upgrade. So we're going to need to make some iron rebar. We're going to need 50 sand and some concrete mix. Okay, so we got the sand covered here. Iron rebar, I th think. Do we need uh, iron... Yeah, we need iron ingots to make iron rebar. Okay, how much did it say we needed again? Let's take a look-see here. Uh, looks like we need to make 19 more of those and concrete mix. Do we have that? We should have concrete mix. Yeah, this is just not broadcasting. Okay. Um. So, let's see. 19. Yeah, we need to make 19 more rebar. So, let's grab these. Wait. Yeah, that's broadcasting. Okay. So let's do 19 of these. I'm going to uh, switch these out or just swap them there.
Right. Okay. Um, and then since this is broadcasting, so that'll be good to go. We just have to wait for those rebars to finish. Let's put these in here. Doesn't look like you can broadcast um, workbenches, only storage. Okay. And the other thing we can do too, I forgot, is let's pin this. Well, yeah, we have everything else, so we don't we don't need to pin it, actually. So yeah, let's not pin it. We just have to wait for these to finish. There's our 19 rebar. Okay, so let's upgrade this. Boom! Now we have tier we have tier two everything except for mechanics table. I think. Can we do this also and ballistics? No, we just used up our research data. Everything else. Well, and we need a few more books too. Okay. Uh, same thing up here for the tier two uh, ballistics table. Yeah, we just need books and research for this. Okay, so those two tables will be the next two things that we will attempt to upgrade. Okay, looks like we have ourselves a quest. So why don't we head on out and do that quest? It's a clear and retrieve. Let's do it. Okay, head on on down. Oh, it's it's good to be back in the in UDL here. I missed the game, man. I missed it. I just needed to take a break from it, mostly because I was so far ahead of you guys. And like I said, I I got to, got to playing those simulator games and really enjoyed them. So um, we'll probably be doing more more of that sort of thing on the channel too. No, 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 no spitting allowed. There we go. Well, what day is it, too, by the way? It is, this is... Where do I see that? Oh, it's day 68. Okay. So... Horde night was on 63. So 70. Yeah, of course. Day 70. So we have two more days before Horde night. Um, I'm probably just going to do the garage thing again for this coming up, upcoming Horde night because I haven't really done any... had time to do much of anything else. I want to really focus for now more on getting my um, my workstations upgraded. So that way we have maximum ability, you know, to make stuff and whatever. Okay, so anyway, let's focus on this. It looks like that is not a lootable vehicle. And I have quite possibly already been through here anyways. Because, yeah, look, look, look at all these cars. My goodness. I... I almost feel like I should take these apart uh, for the parts. Yeah, you know what? I think I want to do that. But I have definitely looted this place. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna salvage these cars, you guys. Uh, that's just too many cars to to waste. So let me get that done first, and then after. I finished doing that, then we will actually start the quest. Oh, you know what, too? Um, it looks like I left some concrete in here, so I'm going to also grab some of that. I think I remember being in here before, and then we got attacked by a cop or something, and I, I just I ended up running because I wasn't prepared for it or something like that. See, this hasn't been touched. Oh, wow, look at that stuff. But I have definitely been in here. I just never completed the place. Let's grab that. Did we loot all of this stuff? We did not. Could find some good stuff in there. Well, useful stuff, I should say. Nothing too terribly fantastic, but definitely useful. We might as well grab the bricks, too. Um... Okay, I don't see anything in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? I think it was. I think I was I was in here loading and I was gonna come back for this stuff and I must have forgot to do it. That's probably what the deal is here now that I think about it. Yeah. Alright, so we'll check this. 
Got a little bit of steel scrap there. Get the cement and the clay. The cement and the bricks. Um, we should probably go check the the fat loots too, because here here's my um here's my take on double looting. By the way, if I randomly loot a place, um, you know, and it's not a quest, then I don't count that as double looting. If I come back to the place later and then actually do it as a quest, I I consider double looting nice. Um, if you go to a place that you have a quest and then you go hit the in loot and then you start the quest and do it again. Now, I am not in any way, shape, or form passing judgment on anybody that does do that. If you want to do that, more power to you. Go for it, man. I'm just talking about how I do things because that is my preference. And it's not, again, it's not a judgment on anybody that does. So there you go. But all that to say, if for some crazy ass reason I did leave some of the double, uh, some of the fat loots behind in this place, um, I'm gonna grab them because I have already technically been here. I just never f finished it for whatever reason. I vaguely remember get, getting run out of here, and I was gonna come back, and I just didn't do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what we'll do is we'll nerd pull up here. I'm not going to go the long way uh, to get up here. Isn't there supposed to be a safe in this place? Huh, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, let's nerd pull up here. I probably did grab this. I mean, it would be extremely unlikely that I forgot to get the in loot. But let's check it. Yeah, see, that's empty. Okay, we're good. We're good. So I just, like I said, I must have forgotten to, or either f forgotten or had planned to come back and just to get in, didn't get around to it or whatever, um, you know, to get the rest of this stuff. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go back uh, into the back room and, sal or I'm sorry, in the back area and salvage all of those carts and get that done. And then once that's done, then we'll start the quest proper. By the way, I don't know if I told you guys this, but you can get steel plating from police cars in Undead Legacy. So, so just another source of early game uh, steel. Oh, we never looted this. Couple pieces of coal. Okay, uh, we can sell that. Speaking of which, I have got so much stuff to sell. But the problem is that it's got to be repaired and it takes so much resources to repair so at some point we're going to have to really stockpile our resources our iron our steel that kind of thing and get that stuff repaired and sell it because we'll make a ton of money uh, doing that man i can't believe how many vehicles are in this place this is crazy We never looted this one. All right, we'll take that stuff. Okay, I think we're good to go. So yeah, we got we got a nice little pile of stuff. Now I'm obviously gonna go through and do that all over again, but I'll probably do that off camera uh, the second time around. Is there anything else in here we want to loot first before we get started? I suppose we could grab this firewood. Okay, we already got all the concrete that was in there that little area over there 
and I'm pretty sure I've checked all these shelves. Yeah, okay. Whew, man, it's taken over half the episode just, <laughs> just to finish getting all the resources from this place. It's crazy. I've got a bunch of lag going on too, so that's never a good thing. Uh, all right, well, let's put uh, this firewood in here. And I think we're ready to start the quest for realsies. Uh, let's double check and make sure everybody's loaded here. Okay, yeah, we should be good to go on that front. So let's start our quest. So this is a clear and retrieve. And it's all back. Wow, that is cool. Okay, I'm going to loot the cars with you guys, but I'll salvage them uh, later. Come on, like, this is not a good time for you to be here. Um, let's put this back down here. So let's go all the way to the end here. Of course, we need to stay on the property. And uh, start checking these out. One thing of cornmeal. Lovely. Okay. That's not lootable. That is not lootable. This, is, this should be. Nice. We got three motor tool parts. Take it. Give us something good, car. Give us something good. All right. That's good for selling. Some mechanical parts. That is not a lootable car. Yeah, all the concrete, all the bricks, all that stuff I will get later. So now we're just going to loot and pew pew. And hopefully not be pew pewed in the process. See, none of those are lootable. Okay. A pink mini bike. How cute. Check the ambulance. Oh, wait, wait a second. What happened to that big crater that was over here? It's gone. That's weird. I wonder if it's if you reset the place by taking a quest, if you know, if that was something that was just in the original. No, that that doesn't make sense. Where's that big crater at? I don't get it. Weird, man. There was a big crater right here. <laughs> it's not here anymore. Okay, well, whatever. That's really bizarre. Maybe there was an update and something got changed with it. That's all I can think of. All right. Let's once again put some stuff in here. No, not pick up. Storage, what's heavy? Okay, let's do this. So remember, loot and pew pew. No salvaging. We'll do that later. Okay, we got a couple Zika Riskies. Coming down from the roof. Zombie biker and zombie soldier. Come here, boys. Down with the sickness. Okay. Um, I guess we'll start checking these shelves. These shelves are woefully disappointing, though. In terms of the loot that they have in them. You go down. And you go down. And you go down again. And again. And again. <laughs> okay. So, we better check them, though, because you never know. We might... We might find something half, halfway decent in these shelves. I wouldn't I bet money on it, but you never know. Well, you know, bobby pins are useful. Bobby pins are useful. Yes, they are. Come on, give us some food. Okay, we'll take some coffee. All right. And we'll come around 
this way, hit this. Whoa, that scared me. Repair kits. Oh yeah, repair kits. That's that's worth searching these shells for. Absolutely. I forgot we could get repair kits in here. They are quite a bit more um, expensive in Undead Legacy as opposed to vanilla, so they are definitely worth grabbing. None of those tool kits are lootable, unfortunately. Man, I might have to restart the game again. This lag is just killing me. Or it's going to get me killed. Alright, most of this stuff is just crap. But, again, especially because we have the chance of getting repair kits. That door is locked. Um, let's just take a little shortcut here. All right, what does this do? Adds chance to harvest acid from cars, medical equipment, and acid barrels. <sighs> what do we need acid for moving forward? I mean, we have some, and we do occasionally get it. Uh, you know what? Let's just learn it. Let's just learn it. That way, it's done, and we never have to worry about not being able to get acid again. Looks like our dude's thirsty here. Excuse me. Um, and it also looks like I took off and didn't bring anything to eat with me. That was smart. Okay. I think that's all just the tiles that I'm stepping on on the floor. All right, we should have somebody pop down from up above here. And there's the satchel. Come on, Zombo. I'm out of the ceiling. Hello. I thought that was a triggered thing. I guess it's a noise thing. Here, let's loot these. I can hear him up there. All right, let's just make some noise. Come on down. There you go. I knew you were up there, buddy. Okay. Uh, this is salvageable, but again, we'll hit that later. And now we go in here. We're going to have some friends in here. I don't know if any of them are snipeable, I think. Yeah, this is triggered. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to, why do I not have any pipe bombs in my inventory? What is wrong with me? Don't answer that question. Note to self, put pipe bombs in your inventory and put it in a damn lock slot so it's always there. Jeez, can't take me anywhere. Got some four bites. Really? Boards inside of a inside of a working stiff crate? Come on, man. You gotta get you gotta do better than that. Gots to do better than that. That looks like it's just salvage stuff that we'll handle later. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I never I never tire of the ragdolling in this game. <clears throat> there you go, Arlene, have a headache. Okay. Okay, we got a soft. I don't know if we'll need that for an upgrade later or not. We might. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Gazoon tight. <clears throat> Come on, give us something good. All right, decent, decent, decent. Nothing we need, but we'll take it. We got another one up here. Man, this loot just sucks in general. All of those working stiff box, and we didn't really get anything to write home to mother about. Son of a gun. Uh, all right, so uh, it's time for us now to go up on the roof. Let's just check these because, well, you all know why. They generally have useful stuff in them. I don't know though, man, with this loot run, maybe not so much. Yeah, that was decent, I guess. We looked there, we looked there, we looked there. Is that a secret? There is a secret up there. I had no idea that was up there. Did you guys know there was a thingy up here? Thousand hit, ten thousand hit points now. Five thousand hit points. Looks like we'd have we have to get it from the vent up above. Okay, well, and it's just a trash anyway, so it's not like it's that big a deal. But anyway, I didn't know that was there, so that's kind of cool. Okay, let's go up this way. Get ready for buzzards and everything else that wants to come after us. So this is where that is at. Oh, wow, that was worth the uh, that was worth checking out. Except for now we're stuck here. Can we get up this way? There we go. Okay, so let's see. We gotta go work our way this direction. Yeah, I'm glad I found that. Now we just got some research data. Are there vultures up here? Oh, there is a lootable toolbox on that side. I see a Zombo's leg. I'm not spotting any any buzzards. That guy's below us. There's a crawler. Yeah, there's a... Oh, there's a dog. Okay. An opportunity for us to practice our sniping skill. How did that wake you up, crawly crawl? And some bookshelves too, very nice. Did he get up here? More research data for us, baby. There's another, at least one more Zico. Oh. He lost track of us. Too bad for him, eh? Okay, let's go over this way. Right there. Man, we are kicking ass with this sniper rifle. And again, I don't have any... I, I think I have one point in Deadeye. Biker Billy. Whoa. He did. All 
right. Is that it? I think so. Okay. Another item for us to sell. All right. Let's get our shotgun ready in here. We're going to get a couple of uh, Zombo Rushes. Unless we can do some snipe doodling which we might be able to do. Yeah, there's a snipe doodle um, option if I've ever seen one. Opportunity, that's what I was trying to say. Boom. And stay down. I'm really liking this rifle, man. Shotgun time. about if we take ourselves a one of these one of these okay so we got a dude over here wait yeah over here Oh, shoot. Doggone leg. Can I just get their attention? Yeah, I know. You're hungry. It doesn't look like they've spawned in. Okay, well, I'm not going to go all the way back up there, so we're going to go in this direction. Okay, let's get this unlocked first. Uh, do I have any eye candy on me? I don't. Okay. All right. Not that great, to be honest with you. Okay, let's see if we can get back over here without falling down again. Oh, for Pete's sake. Really? All right. You know what? We're nerd pulling up this way, too. <laughs> we just got to activate this last Zombo so we can finish the quest. That's all we gots to do. There we go. He's activated. Where are you? Oh, shit. Feral big boy. Okay, pain resistance skill is improved to level 31. Return to trader. <laughs> I was like, where is he at? He's behind you. <laughs> Dang, that guy hits like a Mack truck, man. Okay, let's take a couple of these. And we're going to head on over to the trader, do our turn in, and then I'm going to come back here off camera and just once again loot the crap out, or i'm sorry salvage the crap out of this place because there's so much good stuff here i might even um take a a, a uh, whatchamacallit hackers candy just so we can get some more a little more bang for our buck too um we need these less and less but we have plenty of money. Let's just keep buying them until we just don't need them all. I'm going to buy a couple of these, too, just because I need to eat something. And we don't need that stuff. Okay. This, I think, is used for Grandpa's something or other. Yeah, learn an elixir. This does not have a recipe, so we'll eat that straight up. That should take the edge off. 
Trader you Joe's don't look so good. Soon. Here's your reward. Yeah. Oh, you are. Crap reward. You owe me something better than this, man. This stuff sucks. But I can't really complain, I guess, until we get the better barter, or not the better barter, the trading thing going. Um, yeah, this is worth more money, obviously, so we'll take that. All right, let's get a, get the next one. Uh, we can do the refinery, get pick up a little extra gasoline, not that we need to anymore. Everything else is a nighttime quest. I could really, no matter what. <laughs> not to, <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure we will be doing those at some point, but I'm not sure I want to tackle those just quite yet. So let's look at his inventory, see what he's got. He's got the pumpkin bread schematic. Uh, how much does he charge for books? 51 a pop? Okay. I'm not going to buy them right now, but it's good to know how much they cost, just in case we ever decide we need them at some point. Let's take a look at his secret. I've already looked at all this stuff. I can't remember if we have or not. We might. Maybe we have. High power ammunition. Well, there's always Shamway up the road. You can... Oh! Oh, we just got... <laughs> we just got kicked out. I totally... Wasn't paying attention. All right. Well, hey, it is nighttime in the wasteland. It's a beautiful evening here in the wasteland. And we're going to go for a nice cruise on the motorcycle. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode. So what I'm going to do is... If I want hacker's candy, which I might have some back at the base, I'd have to go back to do it. I don't know if it's worth... Yeah, it probably is with all those cars that we, we can loot there. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go back to the base. I'm going to offload, and then I think I'm going to come back to the hardware store here and um, and, and salvage all that stuff. There's just so, so many good things there, you know, the cars, the cement, and that kind of thing. But I'm going to do that off camera. And then um, in the next episode, we, we still have this quest to do. we got a couple more days before the Horde Night. So we'll probably just keep questing um, and working towards getting the research data in the book so we can get those other two uh, stations upgraded to tier two. In fact, before I let you go, now that I'm thinking about it, um, let's uh, let's just go see if we have all that stuff. Where am I at? I'm like completely turned around here. Can I get out over here? Uh, this is a little sketch. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we'll see if we have enough stuff to do one of those. Oh, yeah, I gotta keep. I keep forgetting that I gotta repair that. I am gonna put a um, a drawbridge here too, and we might even do that in the next episode if I have the resources for it. I have to look. Okay. Anyway, yeah, let's go up and see if we can get at least one of our stations upgraded. And let's grab everything out of here. Oh, wait, that was a mistake. Oh, no, never mind. Wow, we got all of that. Okay. Oh, you know why? Because I'm not encumbered at nighttime. Well, I am, but I can carry a heck of a lot more. Let's put the heaviest, heaviest things in here, and I'll deal with those off-camera. So that's basically those things. These re actually need to go back down into the motorcycle. Uh, that's good enough. We can move. Okay, so we wanted to do the ballistics and the art. No, we already did the artisans. It was mechanics table. Um, so we just need a wrench. We got plenty of those. We just want to find the crap crappiest wrench. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It it's not consuming it, it just wants it in our inventory, I believe. All right, mechanics table is upgraded to tier two. So we can do drone stuff in here now, dune runner. We can, yeah, okay, so that, that's what I figured we could make. Is there another upgrade? Nope, that's it. Okay, so that's all we gotta do on the mechanics is tier two. So the only thing left for tier two is the artists, not the artisans, I'm sorry, the ballistics. And again, uh, we don't have the research data in books yet to do that. So that's what we'll do in the next episode is we'll go out and continue questing 
to get the research data and books to get this up to tier two and then we'll start shooting for tier three on those stations that need it we've already got the research station to tier three so we're good to go on that all right you guys i'm gonna let you go in this episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye